so this is going to be relatively short. Uh, this user wants me thrown off Twitter. And I think it's funny why they do. Um, and I'm going to share that with you guys because I uh, need to put out a video today and it might as well be on exactly what's wrong with Twitter. Exactly what's wrong with Twitter. Like, the embodiment of everything that makes Twitter a shit-ass place to be. That's what this person is. Um, now, you might look at this thing and say, well, that looks like exactly like the kind of person you would normally interact positively with. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Because they've got, like, hands off Palestine, Cuba, Somalia, Yemen, Syria... Like, they've clearly got some anti-war positions, at least in name only. Um, you know, and I, I, I've got a lot of those people in my network. But I have those people in my network because they're willing to be reasonable. And because I don't just take anyone um, in terms of positive interaction. Like, I'll follow people back, for sure. Like... I, I don't deny that, but, like, what what I will say is that, like, the people I positively interact with, they kind of got to earn that a little, you know? Got some fireworks going off in the background. Um, <laughs> and ultimately, this person has earned the opposite. Um, <laughs> you can see from their fucking Mastodon username that uh, they either are or were a Bernie supporter, so that should tell you basically everything you need to know. Like, I'm an anti-capitalist, but I support somebody with multiple homes and, like, a, a shit insane net worth, uh, who keeps on, uh, betraying the workers and, uh, not helping force the vote, not helping with Medicare for all, uh, just generally sounding old and saying some old leftism things that he doesn't actually act on like that's what bernie sanders does he he says let me be specific uh i i am not going to do shit for you y you're fucked um y you're fucked you're shit out of luck uh everything you've been trying to push for and everything i've been like pretending to care about all of that stuff is gonna go out the window as soon as i get told to play ball by hillary clinton and co if they have sufficient amount of, like, balls, they can just, like, absorb mine by osmosis. Um, it doesn't matter, you know? I don't want to end up like Seth Rich. Sorry, suckers, I'm gonna go back to my lake house. Um, you know, one of my three houses. Fucking, he's a limousine liberal, and it's fucking hilarious whenever anybody at all supports him. Um, but... Like, like, let me be clear, um, anybody who's still a burner, uh, anybody who still supports Bernie, even in their username, is, uh, it's kind of a shill, and I'm not sorry. Uh, I'm once again asking for your financial support, by the way, if you like this video, you can feel free to, uh, go to my Patreon, or something like that. I got all the links in the description. Sorry, I should, I should have put more P into that. The description. Description. He's always got a little bit of congestion. Uh, anyway. Fucking. Um, that's, that's, that's who this person is. And why? Well, because I made the dastardly mistake of uh, making a tongue-in-cheek response to this. And uh, what this is, um, <laughs> this person's like real talk. What are the best ways to protect yourself from getting monkeypox? Should I upgrade my masking from KN95 to something better? Please help. And this person's like, monkeypox doesn't need to only be inhaled. It can also be a lesion to skin contact. Time for long sleeve and glove summer. <laughs> well, first off, uh, you'll notice I stuck with my fucking sleeveless... Uh, workout tank top. I got this at Goodwill. It's it's for like uh one of the 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 Punisher comics and I've read like most if not all of them. I think maybe all. But like Punisher's great. So 
be, because he's like he's a symbol of the failed government, the failed police force, and what you need to do in order to get the bad guys off the streets who they can't deal with and who the alleged heroes who care about justice won't deal with because it's like they're too busy or something uh, or they don't want to get their hands dirty with the more direct and um, violent methods. You know, it, it was great at one point when... Um, when the Punisher found these co cops with a fucking thin blue line bullshit and a Punisher sticker, and he's, he rips up the Punisher sticker, and he says that, like, you know, uh, I, you, I shouldn't be a role model, you know, uh, if, if you're looking for a role model, uh, Captain America would be happy to have you or something like that. Like, because the whole point is that he's a symbol of the failure of the justice system, and these cops were just like, yeah, let me, let me appropriate that symbol. Um, and so that's, that's, uh, like, Punisher is just directly, um, one of the best ways to satirize justice because he's what happens when you don't have any, you know? He's no justice, no peace incarnate. So that's the way to think about it instead of thinking about the Punisher character through the lens of the the stupid piece of shit cops who that, like, issue was literally written to oppose. Like, the author was like, hey, don't do that, you piece of shit. This is why you shouldn't do that. Uh, anyway, fucking back on, on topic here. I, uh, I, I went over here. Let me see if I can get the margins increased on this. I'm going to try and do more content like this where I'm, like, actually responding to the thing in question. And, uh, and it's, it's going to be kind of rocky at first because, like, you know, I don't, I, normally I don't have anything like this on the, on the top surface because I don't want it to be, like, distracting or whatever. But I keep on getting asked, you know, maybe visual aids would help people, like, uh, who have disabilities understand what you're talking about or something like that, so I might as well. Fuck it. Um, fuck it! We'll do it live! Fucking thing sucks! Um, so, with that in mind, uh, I said the easiest way to avoid monkeypox is to stop buying into fear-mongering campaigns stirred by governments and corporations in order to instill fear... And gain control, profiting every step of the way. It's existed for a long time, and you're only upset now because they told you so. That's, like, literally just true. All of that. Um, and, and it's fucking hilarious how many alleged leftists respond negatively to this sort of critique. Because I'm literally basing my critique in a critique of capital. But this alleged leftist, as you'll soon find out, wants me gone for it. Because I dared to question their narrative. And we can't have that. You know, it's 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 like it's like Marx is like a scourge for all these stupid Karens. And they just want to imitate him being able to throw whoever he wanted out of his union, like like he did Bakunin. Um, you know, oh, Oh, I'm a Marxist. That means I should be able to control and puppeteer things. We should get the dictatorship of the proletariat. You know, that'll 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 let me do what I want to do. <laughs> Cuz I can't do it normally. I can't get people on my side normally. So I've got to do this by a dictatorship of the proletariat. And by that I mean us, specifically us. We'll be distributing the vouchers. We'll be the neo-bolsheviks. You'll be the proles. And uh, if you start listening to people like Emma Goldman, we'll have you against a wall. That's what those people believe. It's fucking hilarious how quickly you can get these people to descend into their tyrannical nonsense. But basically, um, this spiraled because this person like got got their fucking dick in a twist over me saying this and. Uh, <laughs> I'm wondering if four followers lost their minds, or if I'm going to need to reinforce my follow-back policies. 
You know how hysterical that is? It's fucking hilarious. Um, I should have said that in Bernie voice. I'm wondering if four follows have lost their mind. And I'm like, I tripped because it's like follows. Follows or followers? What? Um, have lost their minds or if I'm needing to reinforce my follow back policies. Um... So I said this, the state capitalist class has engineered such fear campaigns around uh, certain alleged threats for so long that even bringing up the fact that it's a possibility gets alleged leftists to call for dissociation rather than fighting the capital class and their pharma propaganda. It doesn't matter that I'm in poverty. It doesn't matter that I'm probably poorer than this user. It doesn't matter that that user compared to me is likely in the bourgeoisie. Uh, what matters is that I didn't say what they like, so I'm not entitled to a voice on a capitalist-owned platform anymore, and they're going to try and remove me. <laughs> this is leftism now. It's just, hey, let me use capitalism against you. It's like it's like what, what Mao did. You can look this up on Marxist.org, too, like... Marxists will post this, like, cell phone on their own site, where Mao Zedong was just like, yeah, I'm going to use state capitalism to get there. And, and, and then they just, nope, it never stopped, you know? And they have YouTube channels out there where people are literally trying to say that, oh no, China's actually a fine model. They're doing fine. <laughs> I mean... If you like extreme fascist state capitalism, sure. But it's not, you know, any sort of worker-owned anything. What it is, is it's evil people being evil for profit. Uh, and, you know, central ownership of means of production. And, you know, markets must serve the state. Um, other races are discouraged. Uh, sexuality is discouraged. Uh, that's why everything has to be censored before it gets sent over there. Like, black people have to be moved back and merchandising posters are, like, not included at all. Uh, you know, uh, LGBT people can't be the voice of fucking anything ever. Because these people are like that. Because the government forces them to be. And that's how the culture has been for a long time. Uh, but yeah, that's totally the model, yeah. Uh, anyway, fucking, <laughs> just, you know, it's, it's dizzying how deluded alleged leftism got just because they made these concessions repeatedly, like, over and fucking over, and then eventually we got here to this point where it's like, oh yeah, my version of leftism is, <laughs> uh, complaining on Twitter and trying to silence people. So anyway... So you have just volunteered to handle the monkeypox ward. Great. The hospital administration assures me that your sacrifice will not be in vain. I said, see what I mean? There is no word for this sort of thing. At least not yet. And when there was, all that did was restrict treatment for other conditions and put, it off, and put off a lot of people's much-needed medicine in the name of a failed propaganda campaign. That's true. You can look this up. It's covered on mainstream media outlets. Okay? Um, you don't have to listen to Alex Jones, which obviously they mentioned Alex Jones not too long later. You don't have to listen to Alex Jones to know that there were literally people who couldn't get their treatments because the hospitals were told to prioritize COOF. You know, that's true. It's just true. And I don't care what these people think. Um, you, you you can look this up. It's available on mainstream networks. It's also available in sources I linked on articles on agoristnexus.com. It's just fucking true. So, <laughs> it's quote tweet day, folks. I can do it, too. Smallpox, similar as an eradication program, a vaccine, and a protocol. Yet there's no word for that either, and you're doing nothing but spreading state capitalist propaganda in the false name of medicine. Any real leftist recognizes what you're doing, and you're ceding of the ground to the bourgeoisie. But keep pretending. 
It continues. Epidemiologists. Oh, sorry. Fucking, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll, I'll do the Bernie voice here again. We're still doing quote tweets. Okay. There's not a smallpox ward now, as smallpox is virtually eradicated. One or more, one or many can be spun up on demand. It's the same with monkeypox as it is to sim so similar. In fact, epidemiologists are worried smallpox will come back because of monkeypox. That close. And I said epidemiologists aren't a monolith, and to act like there's some sort of consensus here, or that there have been has been for any other response to an outbreak the past several years is to ignore all the dissent which was quelled and suppressed by state capitalists. Which is fucking true. Like, you know, Naomi Wolf, um, fucking Robert Malone, the, everybody affiliated with the Great Barrington Declaration, like, all this shit is just fucking... <sighs> because the people in charge who are directly affiliated with mega corporations and the government, literally fucking said so, and that's all it took. For real. And this person knows that, and I'll be getting into that in a little bit. But, this is fucking hilarious. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> do you really want to be the one in 2021 saying, COVID's just a cold with this one. Oh, wait. And they link this thing. They think they really gotcha me. I was talking about fucking temperature. I was talking about temperature and they scoured my timeline, probably for tweets to report. Temperature. So, okay. All these people shaving their beards and I'm just over here like with the beard there. I don't know, TBH. It's winter, and people are also complaining about being cold. So this seems like a weirdly inopportune time. I was mocking people for shaving their beards. Because it would make them colder in the winter time. And this asinine fucking petty bourgeoisie fool... Thought I was talking about illness. They can't differentiate between things. It's hilarious. <laughs> so I fucking really thought they got me. And I'm like, <laughs> it's talking about temperature. <laughs> and so then they're like, state propaganda? People are infected with something like th that kills 1 or 10% and we're not even sure which. Being okay with a 1% death rate is disgusting, and it's doubling almost every week. I'm not doing this what if like we did with COVID, especially when we all knew about this one. <laughs> You'll have to show me where 1-10% to 10 of anyone is experiencing that right now, because you can't. And if it does reach those numbers, by default, it's going to be endemic by default, just like the other one was. Feel free to ignore facts, though, bougie. Like, it was so easy to dismiss. And then this person jumps in. 30% increase of hospitalizations in the UK, including three people personally known to me, is state-sponsored pharma propaganda. You sucked the chemtrails out of Alex Jones's dick, didn't you? This person's like, flew too close to the sun, Jeremiah, they're seeing it. That was 30% increase in a single week's time. I'll beat this stupid armchair communist down, even if he does share a first name. So I guess we're both Jeremiah or something? I don't fucking... It's fucking hilarious that they immediately make this sort of thing personal. You know? Uh, they can't just argue on merit. So I said, exactly zero people of any merit care what you think when you can't phrase it in a logical way. You haven't even approached my point, much less done anything about it. You think you're much better than you are. I'm working out, and you're in the armchair. Because I was working out at the time. I'm still wearing the shirt I was wearing when I was working out. You can see my post-workout arm pics elsewhere if you want. But, like... <laughs> this, was, this was after fucking... If I started the list of 
all the anecdotes I have related to the alleged solution, you would accuse me of spreading propaganda as well, just as you are now, implying the only way to oppose your viewpoint is to obsequiously parrot Alex Jones, and you couldn't possibly be wrong. <laughs> just... <laughs> it's just nothing. This person has nothing. And then I, I only quote tweet to break threads, which prevents the consistent case against your bullshit being visible in its serious and convincing weight. No, I pulled it to my own threads so that y'all censorious bitches couldn't hide my tweets. It's a defense mechanism. And I'm fucking right. So, let's ease up off my back with that bullshit. Um, this is the kind of shit these people do. They, they act super dramatic because it, they think it helps their case. But it fucking doesn't. It just makes them look hilariously stupid. They're not asking any questions. They're not interested in the facts. They just want to fucking complain. And, and like... <laughs> We get we get down to the brass tacks over here. Let me let me fucking let me fucking pull this up over here. Um Actually, I'll just go to my profile. Yeah, that that'll work for me cuz I I quote tweeted both of these things. Uh again, you know, to make sure that it stayed on my profile. So they were like, "Oh, this bozo is back because I came back." Because of course I did. So, <laughs> I, I I get one defender in that thread. And this person flips out. And, and starts to say a bunch of shit that I didn't say. Because they're saying, he didn't say it overtly. But since he thinks it's a big nothing burger, he's just signed up to give health care in my eyes. Or he didn't, and he's just a sit-on-ass troll. Probably like you. <laughs> and I'm like, nah. I routinely speak out in favor of good personal health habits, and I have an online space where people can get clean, sober, fit, healthy, and skilled. That's how you beat viruses. Gotta be healthy. It's comorbidities that make them bad. Post physique. And so I posted that. You guys might as well see it. It doesn't matter. But, like, that's what this person quote tweeted. Oh, this bozo's back. Also, that's a COVID reportable. Anything else you want to share with the class? If I don't like what you say, I'll try to report you and silence you. Typical Marxoid. When, when, <laughs> thanks, thanks for two of your five COVID strikes for Liban. Keep going. Bozo clown gif. So, when snitching is your personality, this is what it looks like. So, I just let them, the followers that I know know about them. Uh, <laughs> and I moved on, right? So... You know, I figured that it would be good to show you guys this. Reportable is a catchphrase that they use a lot. So, <laughs> you're going to see this. I could, I should play clown music with this. Look at this. So, just a cavalcade of this person bragging about reporting tweets. That's this person's side gig. They report tweets. They're nothing but an internet Karen who just sits there, reports people to a literal state capitalist mega corporation and hopes that they'll enforce their will upon these people. Like, look at this. How sad is this? How sad and pathetic does your life have to be to think that this is an acceptable replacement for a personality. Look at it. They've got screenshots of just reports. I snitched. I snitched so many times. I've made snitching my default fucking mode of operation. Love me. Let me, let me get a good place in the Politburo. This is the kind of person that hopes the dictatorship of the proletariat stays a dictatorship. Right? Now, some of these, yeah. Some of these are reasonable 
you know, and they're against the the rules, all that, right? <laughs> I would never insinuate that people are never within reason to be against some of these things. But it's like fucking hilarious that this person has made this their personality. And like, if you'll notice, some of these things are still up years later. So it's like this person's confidence is way overplaced. That is unless they know that it's likely not going to work in some of these situations, in which case it's just fucking pathetic because all they're doing is saying, I, I, I hope, I hope that if I tell on people enough that a few of these things will hit, maybe they'll suppress a few of these people. Please, Twitter, do my bidding. Do what I want you to. Silence all my critics. That's what these people are. And, like, there's more under a search for strikes. Um, or, or like, strike in general. But there's also, like, a, a ton of stuff about actual worker strikes. So I didn't want to... That was a loud firework. So I didn't want to include that because I thought that it would be too fucking, like, you know, too too diverse of a content thing to really make my point. <laughs> but this is what we're dealing with here. It's it's fucking pathetic. And and here we here we are getting to the top, where anybody remotely affiliated with my network is now getting reported. Report! 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 Make him do what I say! I'm not getting my way immediately! Report him! That's what this fucking person is like. And it's everything wrong with Twitter. You know? Everything wrong with Twitter. Yet I put out well-sourced, well-researched content. Constantly. And people who can't prove me wrong insult me and try to silence me. Smear campaigns, fucking threats occasionally. This person literally uh, made a throw me against the wall joke. I'm not making that up. Here, I'll see if I can find it right now. This person made that joke. It's the same as Pinochet jokes. You know? Like, report, report, and so you can also check report from the same person. <laughs> 4chan. I haven't been on 4chan in so fucking long, but I have to be a 4chan person because I disagree with them. Like, it's, it's just transparent. Lucky you that I'm not also an abject Stalinist or you'd be on a wall. My, my lawyers helped me with that one, moderators. They're acting like they're boys with the mods. This is such a LARP. And I, I thought it was hilarious. Meanwhile, while this kind of person is being a leech on society and just a complete drain in general, um... This is the kind of content I've been making for a long time. This was two years ago, and I'm fucking right. So I'm just going to let this scroll. If people just want to read it here, they can. But ultimately, <laughs> I've been right for years. And, and no matter how many times these people try to censor me, they still can't prove me wrong. You know? They can't prove me wrong. They don't actually have an argument. They're just mad. So they try to shut me up. It's never going to work. I'm going to keep coming back every single fucking time. But I'm right. You know? I'm fucking right. And that's what these people can't stand. Because if, if I was wrong, if they could cite medical facts that proved me wrong then they they would just be able to do that. 
and they could just dismiss me and call me the stupid person who doesn't like appreciate medical facts or science or something. But they just want me gone. I'm too inconvenient for them, and they need convenience and comfort and a fucking pacifier, and please, Barney, tell me it's gonna be okay. Tell me. Tell me it's gonna be okay. I need your, uh, your emotional support. That's who these people are. So, it's like that. And, and like, so I posted this thing in response. I'm waiting for for this person to get mad at that too. We'll see if they got mad at it in between now and the time I um I posted it. But I posted a list of things that you can retweet if you want to make these people upset. RT to anger a fed. To stay healthy, stop smoking anything, stop drinking alcohol. Don't be obese. Kick your addictions and recreational drugs. Exercise regularly. Go outside. Gather with family and friends. Get good sleep. Lower your stress. And get 100% daily value of vitamins and minerals. This will make all the right people angry. I have somebody reporting my tweets for saying something exactly like this right now. People who want to control you will tell you to ignore this because weak and unhealthy people are easier for authoritarians to control. Resist them. And that's your message today, y'all. Get healthy. Resist these bitches. Don't let them control your life. You know? And if they try to tell you something that they can't medically prove, fuck them. You don't need them. You know? Cut that sort of thing out of your life and you will be happier. Guaranteed. Spend the time you would spend supporting that person and talking to that person going for a walk or a run. Much better use of time and it'll be much better for your long-term health. This has been Jeremiah Harding. Smash the fucking state.